Hello and welcome back to Friday Tech Tips. This is Matt Romney at DHRN, the state of Utah, with the Biz Team. I'll be doing the Friday Tech Tip today. Last week, we talked about paperless document review using Google Docs. That was part one. Today, we'll be doing paperless document review, Google Docs, part two. We'll go back to that same document we used. It was HRE reports. Process. Okay, here's our document. Same one we used last week. Last week we talked about how to make comments, how to review comments, how to make some changes. But what we didn't talk about was how to review those changes and see who had made the changes. So here's the comments that were made last week. We're right here. We're going to go and show you how to review the changes that were made, by whom, and at what point. So, under the File menu, go to See Revision History. It's going to bring up this window on the right-hand side, Revision History, showing you all the dates that a change was made, who made that change, and what time they made that change at. So, I made some changes on August 14th, I made some changes on March 27th. That was last week as I was making the video. And then today I've made a couple changes. What that'll do if you click on it, now you notice the green square next to my name. If I click on that, it's going to show me what changes I made on that date, and it's going to highlight them in green. So if it's crossed through, that was deleted. If it's not crossed through, it was added. So all sorts of changes I made that day. Lots of things that we could look at there. But did I make all of those changes instantly? No. They were made over a period of time that day. So I'm going to come down here to this right-hand corner again and show more detailed revisions. The other thing I want you to look at is this Show Changes box. If that's not checked, you're not going to see the changes made over here. So show more detailed revisions. That's going to break it down by the hour or minute that those changes were made. So August 14th, there were changes made at 137, 136, 134, 133, 129, all sorts of changes. But we can go back in and see those at that point in time. So that was the change that was made at that minute, at 1252. I was on a different part of the document and made a change. Now some of the changes aren't text-based. Maybe it was changing the, si the font size or making a comment or some of those won't be highlighted here, but anything that was deleted or added will be highlighted. Now if we come back out of August, we go back into March 27th, you can see these changes. So this, is, this would be the changes that I made last week. Let's go back up here where there might be something added in or changed. There we go. That one changed something here. I think it also changed the size of the font or the color. So different things were done there. Um, the great thing about all of this is let's say you get to a point where you want to restore this revision. You want to go back to the way the document was at 2.58 p.m. on March 27th. You can do that. You can restore this revision. Now, I've already done that twice this morning, figuring this out for us. So today, at 11.14, I reverted back to a previous version, and it still keeps all the history before that. So you're essentially... Yes, you're reverting back, but you're not losing anything either. So all the changes that I made March 27th are still there. Reverting back to a previous version remains there. And I did it again. Now I can come back here and let's say, let's just go back to first couple changes I made on March 27th. 
don't know exactly what those changes were. I believe it takes you to that place in the document. Change the color of the text at that point. So let's go to this one. I'm going to restore this revision. Okay, my revision box is gone. It's made this my current revision restored from March 27th at 2.39 p.m. But I can still go in here and see the revision history. Today there have been three times where I have restored that revision. I can go back in each one and go to that point in that document back to March 27th and I can still show more detailed revisions and all of the changes I made on March 27th are still there. Each point at which I had reverted to a previous version is still here. So it keeps your entire history, the entire cycle that that document has gone through and you can go back to any point in there and make changes, start over from that point. And you still have a record of everything else that was changed on that document. That is amazing power and editing ability without ever having to print this. In fact, you wouldn't have this ability if you were printing it out and going off of that. So, great way to review documents without printing them. Save the earth. Be green. More on this next week. Have a good weekend.